we are live today with Mr. Tom Morey. This is Patty Serrano behind the scenes. I've got Tom on the line and we're going to go over just a few things. Let's first of all say hi to Tom. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing fine and uh, the interesting, the music is kind of interesting. Oh, okay, cool. Here. Yeah. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit, or I'm going to ask you a couple questions today about what's coming up next in your life. But before we do, I want to just explain to everybody uh, for the record that the uh, citizen journalist idea came from a moment in time when Tom and I were talking about, well, what's next? And because he has so many uh, ideas in his brain that we have to get out here, uh, what better way than to put it on a podcast or a video cast and record it for for in perpetuity so it will last forever rather than try to write it down and just have it on a scribbly paper so we're going to take it in three parts tom we're going to take it in uh what what's next for you personally what's next for what you think is happening in the ocean world and then the last part we'll talk about what's what do you think's next in the entire world so let's start out with what's next for tom maury personally so i'm not going to be traveling I'm not going to be uh, spending a lot of time on any one thing because I'm going to have, there's going to be all these interruptions in, in my life. So I'm, I'm endeavoring to get in place. It's a big deal exactly, or, or more or less what to drink and when, how long it takes to go down and become part of me what to eat same thing and and breathing i've sort of given up on trying to change anything there that's a pattern that's been going on for a long time works pretty darn good then there's the whole thing of keeping your body in shape exercising and uh there's there's the option of how to fine tune how to use the different energies and finally, how to fine tune my breathing, my speech, to figure out what the proper word, not just the words I usually use, what the proper words are and the proper controls of volume as I speak and so forth. So I'm trying to gain more control of my machine here and, uh, and my surroundings. So that's what I'm working on. Well, that's awesome. It sounds like that's a, a real personal uh, touch to your personal life. And it gives a lot of people that are uh, getting up there in years like myself uh, inspiration, you know, to pay attention, Good. pay attention to that. Now, what about um, as you see the ocean, you've been around the ocean all your life. Yeah. What do you think's next? Just in either ocean wave riding vehicles, the ocean, whatever. Okay. The ocean, uh, we've had the chance to explore uh, surfing through the boards and the red wood balsas and plywood covered foam from uh, what's his name and then and then foam fiberglass and then this whole uh, next generation of using these flexible foams, uh, polyethylene and polypropylene and we made the soft surfboard and then putting a stringer in that thing and how many stringers and, and the things that you can do that you couldn't do before because the board didn't have any torsional flex. So that's been added to surfing as has multiple skins, multiple, I mean, multiple skags and, uh, textures cross cross cutting on shallow grooves on the bottoms to give it a little bit of, of freedom. Um, uh, so texturing the, the running surfaces and then uh, paying closer attention to the surface areas, the surface textures, and then w w along will come, has come just in one kind of thrust is the flexible hull with the boogie board and that overlapped into the flexible hulls of our soft surfboards and we made one called it Doyle because we popularized Doyle who then came up with a major change that recognized that we could just put one rigid stringer in the board and use flexible foam 
and get by. And we found from writing it that you can more than get by. You get torsional um, spring, which didn't exist in the regular hardboards. So these are interesting starting points for the future. There are more points that we can make on that topic, though. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And we only have a few more minutes. In fact, we've kind of gone sure. over already what I set to do today. But that's okay, because why don't we, we just leave you with, uh, one, uh, what's next? What you think in your mind for the world? What what is what do you think is going to happen to the world now? Well, everything that's possible is going to be happening, and uh, there's going to be this major thrusts that go on and on, which are let's try and get everybody to do things that our way out way. So let's get the world to be a democratic world. The other guys are going, let's let, let it be a dictatorships and one uh, or communism. So there's these various isms and the world is a mess, uh, but it's a pretty interesting mess. And so it's been a great mess. And so the trends are going to continue and each is going to merge with the next, basically a little Mm -hmm. as, as to the ocean, there are major movements to collect all the trash and to build things up. And then there's the other discoveries of how deep these trenches are, how deep the ocean is, and how it's got volcanic activity that is can be burning the trash. And then there's radioactive parts down deep in there. So we're still in a major discovery mode on everything. Yes, absolutely. And I guess we always will be because we're always evolving. Well, Tom, right. I, we've, we've ran out of time, but I really want to thank you for coming in. This is a, a first part. For those of you that are watching, this is one of the first parts of What's Next with Tom. What's Next Mori, we're calling it. So uh, even though we just tapped into a few things today, we've got a lot to tap this into. Is fun. This yeah. is fun, Patty. Thank you for It's totally fun. Me. And I want to tell